Greetings, parents. I'm Kirby Barker with Epic Party Events, and I am your parent gamer guide because I am a parent and it is literally my job to play video games. Today, we have a game that we're going to talk about that I know all parents are excited to hear about. They just love this game. They love yelling at their kids to get off this game and hearing their kids yell every time they mess up in the game. And if you haven't guessed what it is yet and you haven't clicked away, the game is Fortnite. Now, Fortnite, before you click away for real, is a very interesting game. And I think it's important that parents understand and can talk to their kids about the games that they play, at least at a moderate level. Because I know this is important, as video games are a major part of kids and a lot of adults way of entertainment nowadays i really feel that if you stick around watch this video and learn a little bit about the game you can have a better and a more cohesive relationship with your kid let's get started as i mentioned before it is my job to play video games if you don't know why it's my job to play video games uh, you should check out the a video i'll leave in the link below in the description that shows you what I do, what my business is at Epic Party Events. And you can get a look at our mobile game den. It's pretty cool. Because it is my job to play video games, I really love to make these videos so that you can connect with your kids on a new level about video games. You can have a conversation without, with them without having to play for hours on end. So with all that out of the way, and you know what the purpose of these videos are, let's talk about Fortnite. As you can see, I have some video of me playing Fortnite, and I am not that good at Fortnite. I have only played it a handful of times. However, kids play it in the game den all the time. And I have played it, so I feel qualified to be able to share with you some information about it. Fortnite is what is called a third-person shooter game. That means it's a game where you shoot other people, like a war game, if you will. Uh, however, it's in the third person. As you can see here in the video clip, the camera is set behind the avatar. You can see the avatar or the character in front of you. And that's the person you're playing as, is that avatar. That is the third person view. A first person shooter is when you take on the view as if you are playing the character yourself. So it's like you see your hands in front of you, like I see my hands in front of me. You see the that you look through the site like a real person would look through the site, that would be a first person shooter or the view of the avatar through the first person. We will show some clip of that too, right here, of what first person looks like. Beyond that, Fortnite is at its core a battle royale game. If you don't know what that means and you've read or seen the movie Hunger Games, it's a lot like that. You put a bunch of people in an area and you force them to fight till there's only one standing. That is what Battle Royale is. Now, in Fortnite, there are 100 people per match. And you fly in on this cool little bus and you jump out of the bus, you float down to the map. When you're playing in this Battle Royale, your whole goal is to be the last one standing. Now, you can build walls in the game to help protect yourself, to climb up high, to do all sorts of stuff. You can find chests with a bunch of uh, guns in them, ammo, things like that. When you land in the map, you start with nothing. Again, like Hunger Games. The map is very large. So what, what happens when there's only two people left and you're on a large map? That sounds like it could take forever, right? Fortnite had a plan for that. So Epic Games, the creators of Fortnite, they created what you call the storm. And the storm doesn't exist on the map right away, but as time goes by, this storm, which is a big circle around the map, just starts getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. If you're caught in the storm, you're gonna take damage really fast until you're out of it. So you don't wanna be in the area the storm covers. And the storm will eventually cover pretty much all of the map, forcing players to be in a much tighter area and therefore causing a fight to occur. Fortnite has a couple of game mode variations to that battle royale, like you can play duos. There's two players per team, and there's 50 teams. So still 100 people in the game, but you have a teammate this time, and whatever team reaches the top wins. You still win if, for example, you die, but your teammate makes it all the way to the end. 
you still win. And then they have squads, which is four player teams, which is again, 25 teams with four people on them. It's a real feat to claim a victory Royale, which means you're the last one alive in Fortnite. It's not easy. So I always recommend to parents, give your kids a little slack. Matches don't really last much longer than 15 minutes because of that storm shrinking the map and causing co confrontation. Uh, they don't really last that long. So give your kids a few minutes to finish up a match if they're in one. I always say, hey, yell out, hey, you've got 15 minutes. If you're in a match, you can finish it. If you haven't started a match, you're not in one, don't. We've got to go, whatever it may be. But I feel like giving your, your child that leeway to at least finish a match that they may be doing really well in will in the long run it will reciprocate and they'll honor that and they'll get off the game after the match is over fortnite also has some other games that are kind of if you would seasonal games they had an avengers game when the last avengers movie came out they have different types of playing against other people uh, but the main game is the battle royale battle royale is what you call a pvp game and that means player versus player. You can look at it as if you're online playing uh, Fortnite and I'm online playing Fortnite, we are fighting each other. Player, me, player, you, versus each other. And so player versus player is what Battle Royale is. Fortnite has a game mode called Save the World that it would be known as a player versus enemy or player versus an environment. And that is where... I want a player and playing against the computer of the game, not against other players, but the game itself. Now, not all player versus environment games are single player, which means just me. They can be multiplayer, which means multiple people playing together. And you may be asking, well, how is that possible? Because that isn't that player versus player. No, let's say there's four people playing together. They're working as a team against the environment, against the computer. So it's still player versus environment, but you have a team of other players. Fortnite does that. Now, there are some player versus environment games that are one player, where it's just me against the game. Fortnite also has a creative mode. If you watch the Minecraft video, you would know what that means. If you haven't watched it, go back and watch that one. I'll leave a link in the description. And I may even put a card up there in the corner for you to see. It does have that creative mode, but that creative mode is not why people come to Fortnite and it is not why they stay in Fortnite. People do play with it and it's fun, but people come for the battle royale and they even come for that PVE player versus environment games called Save the World more than they come for the creative mode. Let's get a little bit more into why Fortnite is popular. And I can attribute to one really simple thing. It's free. That's right. Your kids can download and play Fortnite on Nintendo, PlayStation, Xbox, computer, and even their phone absolutely free. You may be wondering, well, how does that work? How does a company stay afloat if they give away their product for free? That's a great question. And this is where Epic Games, the creator of Fortnite, had a genius idea. They said, we'll let kids play for free. But we're going to create these skins or looks for their avatar. So you can change how your avatar looks. Think about it like fashion for the player in the game that you control. You can change how they look. We also call this cosmetics. And we'll, we'll make it so that players can have their own unique identity when they're playing Fortnite. But we'll charge them for any of those cosmetics. And that's what Fortnite and Epic Games did. They let you have free access to the game. And these cosmetics don't affect whether you win or lose. You can win without buying anything in Fortnite. You can flat out win Victory Royale time after time after time because it doesn't change any of the gameplay. So they took this idea and they went with it. And it blew up. To give you an example, Epic Games made $2.4 billion with a B dollars in 2018. That is a crazy amount for a game to make, and especially a game that they distribute for free. Fortnite adds some other things in there that keep people coming back, called seasons. So 
every season you get a new battle pass which costs money you fill up that battle pass by playing the game a lot and you get unique uh skins that you can only get by buying the battle pass and then playing the game a lot and i'll show you what that kind of looks like here uh you have to level up to level 100 to get that final skin so these seasons are about two months two to three months and then they do a new season which gives new skins which brings everybody back to play again so this is how they created this cash machine for them and it's a great idea i wanted everyone to know at the end of these videos i'm going to rate these games on three criteria the first is going to be popularity how popular is the game and large compared to the other games in the world out there that's the first one and we'll rank that from a to f a being the best f the worst just like a kid's school grade card figured most parents will understand that um, so we're going to stick with that then we have the next ranking which will be how appropriate is this game for all ages so essentially if it gets an a on that it's good for any kid to play if it gets an f i wouldn't even play it for example and then finally the last one is going to be a grade based on my personal opinion things i like things i don't like i'm throwing this in here because some of you may find that your kids have a similar or opposite point of view of me and hopefully that will help you you'll see if i like a game they may not like it or if i like a game maybe your kids will like it so let's go ahead and get started and we will be rating fortnite on those three things for the popularity score fortnite gets an a plus 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 it is one of the most popular games of all time it has broken a barrier that a lot of games do not and you could hate fortnite your kid could hate fortnite but no one can deny the mass impact it's had on the world again they made 2.4 billion dollars in 2018 pretty impressive as for age appropriateness or is this a game that kids of all ages can play i would rate it at between a c and a b a b minus probably the content is not that bad it it's a shooter game yes you shoot other players however it's kind of like laser tag or paintball the players don't actually die in the game there's no blood there's no gore the game itself has no swearing in it so if you were to base this solely off the game and get a higher rating probably a b i still think the shooting aspect might require just a little older audience i think that even 10 year olds could probably be okay playing it now you may not agree you may think that shooter games are terrible for all ages and if that's the case that's completely fine it is a shooter game so be aware of that the reason it gets a b minus to a c is because of chat now a lot of games have chat but chat in video games can be very bad honestly it can be very upsetting because when you're in this game with a hundred other people these are people from all over the world they can be kids adults and overall people that you may not want your kids associating with that can talk to them directly through chat they swear they say all manner of swear words from top to bottom and a lot of them do it all the time they yell they make fun of people who are better than them they make fun of people who are worse than them and plainly there are some bad people on chat doing bad things so the chat is why it receives such a low grade i think that in my opinion kids need to be a little older so that they can differentiate you know danger and and bullying and maybe not be affected by it so much and that's my take on the chat for that reason i give it a b minus to a c in age appropriateness my overall opinion of fortnite this was a tough one i don't like shooting games in general and there are many shooting games i prefer over fortnite so i'm gonna stick it at a b i don't think it's a game in fact i don't play this game very much and it's not one that i think i'll very much get into I, it just doesn't have 
what I enjoy. So that's where we're at. In fact, I'm going to lower it. I'm going to give this game a C. It has a lot of great things. People love the game. And that's kind of what brought the score up is I can't ignore that lots of people enjoy Fortnite. I don't. And so for that, I give it a C. That's it, everyone. Thanks for watching. I really enjoy bringing these videos to you and would love to continue to do so. So if you like this video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and maybe the little bell icon so that I know that you're enjoying the content and that I can keep making certain content right up the parents' alley. So again, please hit that subscribe and like and tune in for next week's video. Once again, I'm Kirby. I am your parent slash gamer guide.